control that temperature very easily. That's ready to be turned. I'm gonna leave these ribs on for a little bit longer. I'm just starting to get, oh, look at that gold. You see that golden color on there? I'm gonna leave those on a little bit. Look at the grill marks I got on my corn. Heck, we even got, we got smoky mac and cheese on the back in a big old cast iron skillet. Your temperature control is right over here. You can adjust it in increments of, uh, of uh, uh, degrees. So you can go up anywhere from a slow cook all the way up to well over uh, 450 degrees right there. I'm gonna shut this down. And remember, all your pellets are right here. You open up this little bin right there, fill your pellets inside there, and then slowly the little auger is gonna move them in so that they either, either they roast on a high temperature or they slow roast when you're smoking. It's never been easier. That price that you see down there is the lowest price we could find anywhere at $589. you are also gonna get VIP financing if you have an HSN credit card. If you don't have a credit card, $40 in your account today. So drop that price from $589 to $549 with a brand new card. Card and it gives you access to 12 month VIP financing, which means you can get this baby home. You ready for this? Drum roll, $49 per month. If you've always wanted to own one, today is the day to get it. Before Danielle comes out, she's our barbecue champ, our super chef extraordinaire. Let me show you colors. So the first one I showed you was black, which is a traditional color if you love that. This one here is called cinnamon. That is the most limited. I got 100 left. Uh, this is the, the, the baby I love. I love this cobalt blue, so we have it available in blue. There's 100 left in there. This is the graphite gray. I'm gonna step around. The one over here is, this is a great color too, you don't see very often. This is called uh, copper. Most popular color is copper right there. There's only a couple hundred left of those. If we were just doing the grill at this price, it would be fantastic, but we're not doing that. We're gonna set you up. You're gonna get, in addition to the grill, you're gonna get two 20 pound bags of pellets. And these are the things that you put inside. These are basically just uh, compressed wood, all right? But they burn very, very evenly as opposed to charcoal, which can burn on one side and gotta get all the way through the other before it turns into a coal. So you're gonna get 20 pounds of oak, you're gonna get 20 pounds of hickory, Hey, that's enough to get you through the summer and more, so you don't even have to buy any, any uh, supplies for it. This is a Traeger grill cover. You always pay extra for that. We're gonna give you all the tools that you need. We're gonna give you a couple of these, uh, uh, these uh, temperature probes. So if you're cooking a, uh, you know, a, a roast in there, or a prime rib, or if you're cooking uh, you know, a big uh, pork shoulder, you'll know exactly when it's the right temperature to pull it out. They're even throwing in a Traeger cutting board. Retail value on this, $789. You will not pay that today. You will pay $589 and only $49 on your credit card with 12 months VIP. I am telling you, it is worth it. Take a look at what we got inside. I just turned that temperature up. This is, this is why you barbecue. When you open it up and you see that beautiful smoke coming out and you see those ribs, I mean, come on, look at those ribs. I think I'm gonna give them a little turn and then we'll get Danielle out of here. Here we go, flip them over. Oh, they're getting nice and crisp. Lower it. And remember, if I want to up, lower, or raise the temperature, very easy. Little flick of, the, of my fingertips. So if I want to go these up to 350, which I just did, it'll gradually get that temperature up there. It's all about monitoring the temperature when you're cooking, whether you're slow cooking or whether you're searing. And you can do steaks, ribs, chicken, salmon, any kind of seafood that you want to do, veggies, asparagus, corn on the cob, any baked dish that you want to do, macaroni and cheese, cornbread, all of that, I mean, heck, it's still only the, what, it's not even the middle of July yet? You got three more months. Well, most people use these all dang year, and you will too. Let me introduce you to our special guest. She is professional barbecue champ, uh, and she's just the loveliest, most wonderful chef out there. Her name is Danielle Bennett, and she's joining us on Skype. Danielle, good to see you. You see all my food? You look, yeah. <laughs> what a way to celebrate our birthday, 44 years here at HSN. Danielle, I love this machine. Uh, you know, if, if you, whether you're a beginner or an expert, a Traeger makes it easy. You know, this is the best part. You know, it's Sunday. All sorts of that deliciousness. And we are here in my backyard here in Central Florida, and it's all about the grilling and goodness. So I got to show you, I've got all the grills loaded up. Of course I do. And you know what? I thought because it's Sunday and it's brunch time, why don't we start off with, I don't know, how about... Uh, baking some biscuits on the grill this morning. We just baked these on the Traeger. And I've got some sausage patties this morning. Because who doesn't love a good sausage patty in the morning? I mean, take a look at that. Breakfast on the grill on a Sunday. 
Then we go into a whole bunch of other things that we have on the grill ready to go. And we were talking about all that deliciousness, every little bit of it that we enjoy so much. It's a birthday celebration here at the HSN. How about this birthday celebration? Take a look at this birthday quality steak. Oh, yeah, we're talking about the Mac Daddy Tomahawk. You see how big this thing is? Wow. It is glorious. <laughs> Who wouldn't want this for their birthday? I mean, come on. Yeah. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Delicious. Yeah, and you know, you Delicious. spend a lot of money on stuff like that. You sure as heck don't want to screw it up when you're cooking it. And what I love about Traeger, uh, and, and I've researched all the brands out there, is that accurate temperature control. Because if you go out and you spend $35 or $45 on a big old tomahawk ribeye and you burn that thing or you cook it well done, uh, you've just ruined it and thrown that money out. Traeger makes it easy, all right? Because you are in charge of how the pellets go through the machine. With a little twist of a button, you can raise the temperature you don't have to add more coal you don't have to put more lighter fluid on it you don't have to worry about your gas propane running out all you do is you plug this guy in that activates the auger which moves the pellets they heat up they create smoke here's mine over here and by the way you see the chimney over here come on over here look this is another great uh, sign that you're smoking, is that you can actually see it venting out of the chimney. So I have raised the temperature up a little bit. I'm gonna reveal again what's inside, and I want you to see, that's how you control it right there. And I, So I'm at 324. I mean, you get precise control on this guy, and look what's inside here. Now, remember, I've been, I've been teasing things around. Let me get my sausages turned over here. Look at that, look at that. Look at that caramelization on top. I got my corn on top. I'm just getting that roasted. We've got some uh, mac and cheese in here. I'm gonna spin this guy around. I'm gonna take a look at my burgers. I'm gonna turn my, my burgers a little bit. I'm gonna take these ribs, flip them over one more time, move them to the back. You can see all that nice smoke coming out there. And you're getting that great flavor. You know, Danielle, it's funny. The one thing that I notice is missing. When you have a regular gas grill, yeah, you get a little bit of smoke, but that's basically just from the burning of the food. When you use pellet, you're getting flavor, you know? It, it's all about the flavor. Taste above all, because you know what? When you can succulently go into a beautiful steak just like this, like this tomahawk, we could have cooked this just on a regular grill, but this is how we do it. We load up our hopper with pellets. We set the temperature. We actually have all those beautiful hardwood pellets into that auger that delivers all the pellets to the hot pot, infusing your food with all of that delicious hardwood flavor. And that's such a big key. It's all about the taste. And then you load up your grill with anything you want, okay? That fan is circulating all that deliciousness over everything you put on there. And then the angle drip pan removes all of that fat from the actual grill. So it's easy cleanup. So that taste, that delicious wood fire taste, Look at this beautiful piece of steak. Oh my God. You're torturing uh, me. You're torturing me. Fired tomahawk. <laughs> and look at how easy it was. We watched you, you know, turn that dial and see how easy it was to adjust the temperature. So we've got ease of use. We've got all that versatility. I, I just showed you the baked biscuits. I mean, come on. How much easier is it? We've got biscuits on there. I've got steaks on there. I've got burgers on there. And you know what else we have? Mmm. How about some low and slow amazing. Using oh barbecue. my gosh! Check All it right. out. Uh, you you know don't what? look like a plate master. This is how you do it. Oh, I can't wait. All right, I am going to grab. Hey, Melissa, do I have a plate out here to put my burger on? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just need a plate so I can, because I want everybody to look at what's inside it. Yeah, I want to open this up again. I just need a plate to grab this. So there it is. And now you can see I've turned that temperature up and you can look at this smoke coming out of there. That is ridiculous. All right, I'm just going to grab, I'm just going to grab, I'm going to grab a burger and I want to take this one right here. I'm going to shut this back up and bring my burger right over here. And I want you to look, and I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to dress it or anything. I just want you to see the flavor and the way that these cook and how beautiful it is. Now this burger is, I mean, I want you, I don't know if you can see the juice inside Yummy. that burger. Yeah, hold so on. juicy. Let me go right here. At, you ready for this? You ready for this? Oh, look, look at that goodness. What? What? Oh, and, and I can smell this thing right here. And you know, there's there's really on, only one way to, to decide if it's got some good smoked flavor and that's just to go right in. So I'm gonna go right in. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And I didn't even put salt and pepper on it. It's so good. I mean, imagine, you don't really need to put anything on it. A little salt and pepper, 
big old slab of cheddar or Swiss cheese on there, and you are good to go. We're gonna continue out here. I wanna remind everybody, we are very limited in colors. Hey, Brian, let's go through it one more time. <clears throat> so, if you want the black, we're okay. Uh, the cinnamon, 90 left in here. cinnamon. <clears throat> if you want that blue, which is the color I love, about 100 in blue. Uh, the graphite, okay there. That copper, by far the most popular. Half the quantity, half the quantity is gone already. I got less than 200 of those. Remember, you're getting all the pellets that you need uh, right through the year. You're gonna get 40 pounds of pellets. You're gonna get the cutting board. You're gonna get the cover. You get the probes, because let me tell you something. If you've never had prime rib smoked, you are missing out on a whole world. If you've never had a pork <laughs> shoulder, smoked on a grill like this, I gotta go over and check my ribs. I'm telling you, you are missing out. And by the way, you're worth it, all right? I mean, I mean, you're, if you're looking at this, you're going, oh, $589. You and your family are worth it. This is an entire summer, let alone year, of incredible food. We're doing a lot of our cooking at home still. We want gourmet food, but we don't want to always go out. It's a $789 value, and you're getting it today for $589. You're getting it $200 off, only $49 with VIP financing per month, no interest, celebrating our birthday here with you. Celebrate your summer. You'll get this thing home in a week or so. It's, it, it's very easy to put together. Look at the smoke that's coming out. I, I love this. Watch this. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, I'm going to flip my ribs one more time. because they. Oh, look. Getting some good color on those ribs. My sausages, they're almost done. I got corn in the back. Let's, let's flip this burger. Look at that. I'm going to close it back up. Let that smoky flavor stay inside. You know, what I love, too, uh, Danielle, about, about this style of cooking, nobody is left out. So whether you're a meat eater, Maybe you're vegan. You know, if you go to any good vegan restaurants, what are they cooking? They're cooking a lot of stuff that's smoked or grilled because vegetables on their own are good. But if you're gonna serve them for a dinner or a sandwich, you want a little of that smoky flavor, even if it's just asparagus and eggplant and roasted peppers. Yeah. You can do all that stuff Absolutely. on here. Sausage and peppers, oh my God. You wanna do sausage and peppers? You wanna, you wanna put, get a piece of salmon and put some blackening spice on there and throw that on the grill? That's ridiculous, not to mention side dishes. If you've never had cornbread with a little tiny hint of that smoky flavor on there, man, that is so yummy. You're gonna slap yourself when you eat that. Or you're gonna be like, there's no way I made that. That is way too good. <laughs> and if you just think a traditional hot dog tastes like a hot dog, wait till you have it on a smoker. <laughs> All right, I mean, Danielle, the flavor jumps out at you, right? I love that you're bringing up all this because this is exactly the reason why everybody needs a Traeger. It's all about that delicious flavor, right? It's all about the goodness of the grill and what it gives back to us every single time. And we make people backyard rock stars. Come on, you can do those low and slow shoulders, the delicious ribs. You can do the beautiful briskets. We've got it all on the grill here today. Now take a look at this. I know you've got some ribs over there. You know, I might have some ribs too. Check out this beautiful <laughs> rack of ribs. And it's literally falling apart as I bring it. Look at that. Look at that deliciousness, and look, I'm going to pop the bone right out just like that, okay? That's crazy. Look at, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Now, one of the things you will always oh my gosh. realize about a great succulent rack of ribs, look at that smoke ring. It's spectacular. And that taste, that beautiful Pitmaster Pro taste, this is what we're making everybody do at home. You don't have to be a professional Pitmaster. No. We can give you these results. You know, and, and before Hickory, Hickory kiss. yeah, before you go out and spend a thousand dollars on one of those big giant uh, cookers, uh, that realistically, uh, and I and let me just tell you this: I had one of the big giant ceramic cookers. They're great cookers, but the problem is, is that you're not going to load a big ceramic cooker up with 20 pounds of charcoal to make a hamburger, right? <laughs> Why would you do that? You're spending thirty dollars just to, to make a hamburger, but with this, it has all the good features of a regular gas grill and a barbecue grill and a smoker all combined into one because it does it all. So when I look at the price of $589, I'm getting like four or five different appliances here in one and I can enjoy it outside. If you like to pop on the apron and grab your favorite beverage and sit outside and enjoy a summer day, this is going to complement that perfectly. All right, I'm going to get my rib. I'm going to put a little more Yummy. sauce. I'm going to sauce my ribs a little bit here. Danielle, bear with me. Yummy. I'm going to rub a look little sauce. Yeah. Look at this. And remember, when, you, when, yeah, when you're making ribs, I'll give you a little tip, because uh, I have smokers and grills and everything in my house. 
Uh, you know, it, when you're doing your ribs, don't put any sauce on in the beginning, right? You want to smoke it, a little salt and pepper or whatever your favorite rub is, because there's a lot of sugar in barbecue sauce. You don't want to burn the outside and have the inside not tender. So we waited till the last minute to put some of that sauce on there. And if you see the caramelization, come in real close, Josh, and watch this. You see caramelization, I'm gonna grab my tongs. This is what we're looking for. You see the edge right there? You see that dark color right there? That is, that's a lacquer. What, what they call that in the business, a lacquer. All right, look at the bottom there, all right? So I'm gonna flip these over again. Yummy. You see that color? You want that deep bronze color like we're getting there, all right, on everything. Now I could probably take my sausages off. I'm gonna put those over here. I'm gonna grab this one. I got the that's corn okay. up on the second level. So remember, you don't have as much heat up top here. So if you wanna do your baking or whatever, or your corn on the cob, and man, if you've never had Mexican street corn, let me just tell you something. You put a little of that, put a little of that cotilla on there and a little bit of that spice, and oh my goodness, that's the best corn you've ever eaten. And by the way, you could do you could do Mexican street anything. You want to do Mexican street zucchini, Mexican street asparagus, <laughs> you put that stuff on anything, and it, it is absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna let these ribs go a little bit longer. And I want to remind everybody before you sit there and say, but guy. $589, how am I gonna afford that? I'm gonna go back to what I said before. I think you and your family are worth it. You know, when you think about the stuff you spend money on, I always think about this, Danielle. It's like, if you needed tires for your car, you'd go and spend 500 bucks in a second, right? I gotta have tires. Yeah. This is feeding your family. This is every bit as important, not to mention the community that you establish when you have friends and neighbors over and your buddies over or your girlfriends over, or your partners over, whatever you got, you're gonna absolutely love how easy this is to use. Again, if you joined us late, let me show you. All you gotta do is take the, the, uh, the wood pellets, which we're giving you 40 pounds of, 20 in oak, 20 in hickory, and you put them in here, all right? There, this is your feeder. I'll put my, now this is a cold side, so I can put my fingers in there. If you come down in there, these, there's my pellets, see? I got, now these are just wood pellets. They gradually feed down slowly as, uh, as I am turning up or down the temperature. Here's the animation of how it works, and Danielle, take us through this, would you? This is so easy. You plug your unit in and it's so amazingly simple. All you have to do is fill that hopper you just showed with that all natural hardwood pellets. You set the temperature and like, look at how easy that is. Low and slow or hot and fast up to 450 degrees. And the Traeger then does all the work. It's gonna deliver just as much pellets as it needs to the hot pot to maintain that temperature. And it's super simple. All of that delicious envelopment of that wood fired flavored hardwood natural smoke is going to envelop all your foods with that delicious taste so you load up your grill and it envelops it with all of that goodness and then the best part for me as well all that grease goes off into the side bucket so it's really easy for maintenance and cleanliness and of course this is also a grill for everybody and this is where the versatility comes in not only does it do the low and slow the hot and fast the roasting the baking but it's also for every age range too which i love busy moms families independent seniors and teenagers love it too because you know what? Everybody can cook on a Traeger and that's what makes it so amazing. That versatility, that convenience, and we make everybody a backyard rock star with yeah. that delicious Traeger taste. You don't need to be a barbecue champion to become one, all right? You just have to use a good machine and that's what this is. We got a lot of questions. People are uh, asking about it, which I'm glad you're asking. There is a little uh, grease uh, side bucket on the other side over here. Yep. You get residual fats. That just drains right in there. It's all included. Just put your little bucket down there. You'll be good to go. As far as how do I start it, it's, it's electric. So what you've got is you've just got an electric cord that comes out of the auger box. That's the only thing you need is just to plug it in. And then uh, you've got a digital uh, thermometer right there. That's what powers that up and powers the elements inside, which will heat up uh, those, uh, those little pellets and get them to the smoking temperature that you want. All right, I'm gonna take this other burger off. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this over here. My, my ribs are almost there. Take a look. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take these off. I'm gonna, take those, I'm gonna take these ribs off. Whoa, and I'm gonna put them over here. And we're gonna get to those in a sec. What I wanna do next, take a look at this. How about a little barbecue shrimp kebab? I'm gonna put some nice. shrimp kebabs on there. I'm gonna put one there. I'm gonna put one there. Hey. When they uh, start to get a little color, which they will very quickly, then I'll add a little barbecue sauce because that'll be delicious as well. Follow me over and I want you to see these ribs. And I don't know how close you can get there, Josh, but come on in. So I want you to see the color and I want to I'm going to flip them around too because I want you to see both sides this is the color that you're looking for it's that mahogany uh, right I mean look yeah. at that look at the back side right perfectly Beautiful. cooked 
and uh, people like their ribs different way for, for uh, demonstration purposes. I'm just gonna cut through here with a knife because I want everybody to look at the color and I want you uh, to see, I'll uh, try to get a good one here that'll show you. All right, there it is. You see the color of that? You see that red? Get over there. See that red smoke right there? <laughs> that, my friends, is flavor right there. Unbelievable texture. I mean, uh, if you love ribs, let me just tell you. Oh, it is a good one. Look at this guy. All right, I'm gonna hold that guy right there. I mean, this is fall off the bone ribs. Uh, if you like them cut, you can cut them. I just wanted everybody to see that. These are absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna take that other, uh, this other rib. I'm gonna put it back on, because we are outside and I don't want the flies to bother me. So I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna check on my other stuff. I got my corn Ooh. in there. I want you to look at this corn. I'm gonna take a couple of these ears of corn and put them down here. Now remember, if you want to expedite the cook and go on the lower rack, you have two racks here to be able to cook. There you go. And I may just crank this up just a little. Now remember, I can go all the way up to 450 degrees. So if you want to sear a steak on here, or you want to caramelize the outside of whatever it is you're cooking, uh, you could do that. Like if I was doing corn on the cob myself, I'd put it up way on high because corn does not need to really even be cooked. It's naturally sweet on its own, just needs a little bit of color. You will be perfect. Look at that prime rib. My, that should be illegal, that prime rib. You wanna do corn on the cob, do them right in the husk. I like to take them out because I don't like eating that string and dealing with that crap later. So if you like steaks, imagine your steaks now, not just traditional flavor, but with a little smoky hint, swordfish. You know, a lot of fish outside of, uh, of salmon, it doesn't have a lot of inherent flavor. You know, it's, it's either fishy or it's not fishy, right? So if you're doing something like uh, halibut or you're doing a um, very mild fish, or chicken, which chicken and pork really don't have a ton of flavor because they don't have a ton of fat if you're doing certain cuts. Obviously, shoulder has fat and things like that, but a pork loin, you know, pork chop, there's not a lot of fat on that. So you want to get the flavor from the smoke. And Danielle, that's really, it's really what we're doing. I mean, if you made traditional ribs and you didn't put nothing on them and you put them in the oven, they wouldn't taste very good, <laughs> right? No, they sure wouldn't. And they'd be plain, they'd be so plain. I gotta show you something though that I think is really awesome about this grill as well, and it's the digital probes that come with it. You were just talking about how beautiful that prime rib is. You know what I love? I love putting a prime rib on the Traeger and literally I don't have to worry about it because I've got these digital probes that come with the grill. You don't even have to open the lid. You put a probe in your meat, you plug it in to the grill itself, and it's super easy. So take a look at this. I'm gonna show you something you love. Are you ready for this? I know you are drooling over that prime rib, and I just happened to have one sitting right here, and we were monitoring the temperature with the probe. So the probe goes right in the meat, and then it plugs right into the grill right here. You don't even have to open the lid, and I know that's a big investment piece. We all know that prime rib is a big investment piece. We're feeding our family that delicious succulents. Look at the color of this prime rib. That's that barbecue mahogany. It's dripping. It's so delicious. And we didn't have to babysit it. Are you ready for this gorgeous goodness, though? Take a look at that lovely crust all the way across, that wood-fired flavor. And now we're going to cut into this beautiful prime rib. And I didn't have to babysit this because it's a Traeger and it's all indirect. And it was that hickory kiss, delicious, incredible prime rib. And take a look at how juicy that is and how perfectly cooked it is. We've got a gorgeous medium rare. We've got all that delicious bark all over the edges. And this is the prime rib that your family is gonna get because it's so easy on a Traeger and it's all about the taste. All right, I got 175 left in copper. I want you to look at something, all right? I want you to see. I'm gonna take one of these ribs. I'm gonna make my producer, uh, Brian, insane here because I'm gonna take a bite out of this. Look here, <laughs> all right, looky look here. You see that color? Now, there are, there are, people like their ribs different ways. Some people like them fall off the bone, but a, a real rib expert will tell you, you wanna be able to take a bite out of it without it ripping off, off of the bone. You wanna be able to go right through it. Watch this, you ready? Yummy. Good are job, perfect me? bite. Dude, look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. <laughs> I don't, you know, I'm so glad I we love, get to eat again. I love it. That is crazy. <laughs> But that, right, I mean, Danielle, I'm not, well, you know more, way more about this than any of us, but <laughs> like comp competition barbecue, you yep. want it to have a little bit of bite, right? You don't need it, you don't want it to just yep. crumble, otherwise you're, you know, then you're making like pork roast and where it all falls and, apart. And you know, 
I, I just happen. I, I might just happen to have some, you know, hanging out right here because <laughs> this is what you want. You that that delicious mahogany color, right? You want the lovely bone pullback. You want that great flavor. And one of the great things is, once again, we didn't have to babysit this. You didn't have to be a competition pit master to do this. So that delicious, beautiful, smoky flavor that we get from that low and slow application, we put our ribs on seasoned, and then we walked away. We didn't have to. And also, you ready for this? I know you love, I know you love pork. I am, I am very aware of your love of pork. So I've got to show you something else. There is something we do love to fall off the bone. Are you ready for this? Yeah, show me, show me, show how me. About, how about a 12-pound pork butt? Yeah, okay, here you we ready go. ready for this? Oh, Lord. Take a look. What? Is that the bone? A, look at that. That is the bone, my <laughs> friend. And you just saw me rip that out with not even a hesitation. And the best part is, look at that glorious, succulent meat. And I'm going to go in there with my tongs, and I'm going to literally shred it up right in front of you. And you're going to see these succulent, moist, chunks of porky goodness oh my gosh you're gonna get all that delicious bark on the outside and the best part is it's all about that delicious wow barbecue flavor you, and you gotta get to a sandwich right you gotta oh my do gosh. a sandwich though. yeah you gotta do it look at this ready you gotta do it Look at that. I like it like that too. I don't like it. I like it when you don't shred it too much. I like a little bit of texture in there. I agree. I agree. How about a little bit of barbecue sauce? How about just a little it doesn't need a lot. Just a little just a little bit of sauce. We got a little bit of sauce going on. Oh my god. And look at this. You now have and we just pulled it right off. <laughs> we have chocolate strands of barbecue goodness. Yeah. And yeah, by the way, there are days. Go, ahead, go, really go, go. You eat, I'll talk. All right, so here's the thing, too. Cool. If you go to barbecue places, and I'm not poo pooing gar barbecue places, they're wonderful, but even the time it takes to get that barbecue home, it often can dry out. It's not the same when it doesn't come right off the grill like it does in your backyard. Like those ribs, when you eat that, oh my gosh, that, that melt in your mouth texture. Whether you're doing cornbread, hot dogs, burgers, uh, you want to bake a pie in there, you can do that. I got salmon that I'm going to put on there in a minute. I want to put a little barbecue sauce on my skewers so come on over here we'll open up we'll open up our grill again and you'll see I got my corn in there I'm just gonna put a little barbecue on there because I love barbecued shrimp I don't need to do it on the veggies but I'm just gonna do a little bit on the on the uh on the, on the shrimp itself, and then that's all you're doing. And that's the fun part, you know, being able to tweak the food a little bit, being able to check it out. Let me uh, let me check the ribs, we'll flip those over again. And I've got it at a holding temperature. Oh my gosh, look at this, look at this. It's just a big chunk of pork right there. Look at that, whoa, what? Who wants that? Who want, yeah. All the hands are going up here, look at that. I'm just gonna leave that right there and we'll eat that a little bit later. I wanna close it up, remember, there's nothing hard about this, all right? Uh, recipes, as far as recipes, you, you'll get an instruction book with times and things like that, but you can find any of that information online. How, how long do I cook ribs? How long do I cook pork or, or fish? It's very, very easy, and you will get very good at this very quickly. So, we're gonna go again, because they're going fast. You want black, I'm okay. If you want cinnamon, I got 80 left, 70 left in cinnamon. I'm okay, okay. in the blue, I think. Oh God, I got 85 in blue. Uh, graphite, I think I'm okay. But if you want copper, we are down to what, about 100, 170 left in copper. Uh, let me show you what you're gonna get. I got all these grills going on here, come on over. So this is a big deal, right? Because mostly when you go into retail, you gotta buy all this crap separately, right? You gotta buy the, the pellets, you gotta buy a cover. They'll charge you 40 bucks for a cover. I mean, you gotta have a cover, you leave it outside all the time. You're not bringing it in. You're not leaving it in your garage. So we're gonna give you a cover that perfectly matches your Traeger grill. We're gonna give you 20 pounds of oak. These are the pellets. That's what they look like. You wanna see them? They're there they are in my hand. All right, it's just wood. That's all it is. They compress wood. It, be, it burns more evenly than charcoal or, any, or even wood itself because it burns faster and more steady. You're gonna get 20 pounds of hickory to go along with it as well. A couple of uh, temperature probes so that you can uh, ad adequately and accurately measure the doneness inside of your foods. That works really well if you're doing a roasted turkey <clears throat> or a roasted chicken or a prime rib roast. You don't wanna overcook that. We're gonna give you a Traeger cutting board, signature Traeger cutting board. That goes with it as well. So everything that you need to enjoy your summer, your fall. You know, I like, I don't know about you, Daniel. I like barbecuing in the fall. You know what I mean? When the temperature drops a little bit, you go outside, 
it's a beautiful day or beautiful evening and the leaves are changing and you got like maybe you got a big rib roast out there or you got a bunch <laughs> of racks of ribs if you're a vegetarian you got your portobellos that you've been marinating you know you do portobellos take the inside out marinate them in like a balsamic vinegar grill them on one yeah. side put a little a little uh, goat cheese or something or mozzarella i mean you could do so many different things but it's all about the smoky flavor that is that is the difference in traeger versus a regular propane grill all right all you get is residual burned food taste when you use a gas grill i mean and, and it's still okay because it tastes kind of smoky but if you want to taste that oak or hickory if you want to go out let me let me tell you something you really want to go crazy go out and buy like peach or cherry wood right or mesquite if you want it even smokier you you get to customize the smoky flavor and danielle that's a big deal because ordinary charcoal you know especially the stuff that's pre-soaked with kerosene that stuff tastes terrible right yeah i want to use 100 percent all natural hardwood at all times you know and i i use a variety of pellets i use the mesquite the oak the cherry the maple we've got so many great flavor combinations and you were talking about the fact that you love to, to barbecue in the fall you know one of the things i love about traeger is that i actually end up barbecuing 365 days a year because it's so easy and also as a busy mom as a busy person in general sometimes i'm doing meal prep sometimes i'm doing stuff like you know the kids have just come home and i may have just baked uh, i don't know an entire pizza for them because they needed a snack or how about this you're talking about the pies i know you talked about how delicious a golden pie is so take a look at my cherry pie that we baked look at the golden color of this today and we did that right on the grill this morning of course because it's sunday brunch time we did a whole cast iron skillet of biscuits i've also got because you know what it's sunday and we're a little more indulgent you know what that is that's a cookie skillet who doesn't love a good cookie skillet but of course everybody loves pizza i don't know a single person who doesn't love a good pizza and take a look i gotta show you this crust this is why you don't need a pizza oven as well look at that look at that we took this regular frozen pizza we put it on the grill we gave it all of that wood kissed delicious traeger flavor you know that 100 percent all natural hardwood flavor and by doing that we took this pizza and we elevated it up to a whole other status We've got that cheesy goodness coming off the grill right now, all that melty awesomeness. And I mean, who wouldn't want a wood-fired pizza oven that is a grill, that is that is something that bakes, that smokes, and roasts, and braises, and bakes? Oh, my gosh. An, an amazing pizza. You know, when you go to a, the best pizza <laughs> places in the world have coal-fired ovens, right? Why do they use coal-fired ovens? Well, they like the even heat. All right, and they also love the flavor of the smoke and how crispy you can get things. You're gonna be able to throw a pizza on here and get that same smoky flavor like you get with coal fire because you're basically making coals out of pellets. That's what you're doing. I haven't touched the macaroni and cheese yet, Salmon. but I'm gonna go in. All right, and I'm gonna pull this out. It's gonna be very hot, so I gotta be real careful how I do it. Yeah. All right, Woo! you know what I love too, Danielle? I love the tray out front oh, having yeah. a full-size tray out front to be able to do your food i got a hot dog in here it's bubbling on the outside let me show you <laughs> let me just show you that's some goodness that's a whole lot of goodness what the heck come on <laughs> look it look it look it go ahead go right in there close john come on in look at how cheesy <laughs> i'm gonna i want to show you look out look at, look at cheese what Oh my gosh. So if you love, hey, if you think you love it, wait till your kids get a taste of that. What's better than a hot dog and macaroni and cheese? Nothing, right? Yeah, you're not eating it every day, but who cares? You're still going to enjoy it. Look at that. Look at that caramelized crust on the top of that there. Again, look at my ribs. I mean, listen, like they say, I, I can lead you there, but I can't make you drink, but I really hope you grab this today. <laughs> it is the time to get it. If you love ribs, these ribs are ready to go. I'm gonna take these ribs off. Look, they're falling apart. I can't even hold them together. And I am gonna put on a beautiful piece of salmon because we, you know, we got a lot of people that don't eat red meat. So oh. I'm gonna put a nice piece of salmon on there and just oh. let it sit. Put a couple, of, a couple of peppers on there. If you've never had grilled lemon, oh my goodness, it just, it makes the lemon even better. I got some onions, I'm putting them on there just because who doesn't like grilled onions? And again, I'm gonna up that temperature just a little bit. That corn is obviously all ready. We'll just leave it on there. Oh, and I'll take this, I'm gonna take that piece of pork out of there. Dang, that's hot. Hold on, where'd my little tongs go? 
Look at it. They're going to take that little piece of it. it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. And I'm going to shut it down. We're going to let that salmon cook for a little bit. And again, you know, when you look at whether it's pork or chicken, I mean, if you love, you know, you have a lot of people, Danielle, buy the, those rotisserie chickens from the supermarket. That's just flame. Yep. There's no smoke. They can't, they can't have a barbecue inside. It's just flame. If you want real fl uh, flavor, I'm telling you, and this is just a little chunk of that pork. <laughs> I'm just going to oh, cut no. it, and I want you to see the color. I want you to look at the color inside. There you go. Look at that. You see that? You see that little line of red right there? These are what we call the little, oh, look at There's the red meat. These are the Yummy. little bitty chef bits. So uh, I will <laughs> indulge myself. I'll put a little sauce on that little bit, and it's going in. I love it. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I, love oh, you're good. I love the fact that you took ownership of those chef's bits because that's the reality. You know, one of the things you were just talking about is, is fish on the grill. And traditionally, a lot of people are really afraid of doing fish on the grill because a lot of times on traditional other grills, it's, you know, dried out. But because the Traeger is all indirect, we do a lot of great things that don't dry out our meats, that don't dry out our foods on the Traeger grill. And one of those key things for me is all about the fish. So here's how you do it. You actually plug your grill in, and this is as easy as it is. You fill the hopper up with 100% all-natural hardwood pellets. You set the temperature. And this is a really key thing because it's the versatility from low and slow to hot and fast. Now, once you've set the temperature, and that's all it takes to do it, the Traeger does all the work for you. So it makes it so convenient and so easy. It's going to deliver the just a right amount of pellets to the hot pot, and it's going to envelop the entire chamber with that delicious, all-natural, hardwood-flavored pellet flavor, that wood kiss goodness. It's going to give all your foods all that deliciousness. You load up your grill, and then all of the fats drip down on that angled drip pan over to the side little bucket. It's so easy. So I want you to take a look at this. Take a look at this luscious piece of trout. I went with trout today. I did salmon yesterday. I've got a beautiful, beautiful piece of trout that's just coming off the grill. You were just talking about those gorgeous peppers. I have some peppers. I actually have a whole roasted chicken on here, but here's what I want to show everybody. Take a look at how beautifully moist that trout is. Look at how beautiful it flakes off there. You can see how succulent it is. We've got the lemons that are on there. And at the same time, on the same grill, look at this, on this back grate, I have strips of bacon. They haven't caught on fire because everything's indirect. So we're keeping everything indirect. Absolutely amazing. I've got a glorious piece of trout. I love trout. I love eating trout. But I love trout that's been wood-fired kissed off the Traeger more than anything because trout's pretty plain. And I'm telling you, that hickory flavor adds just so much. And perfect for meal prep as well. Take some trout. Mm. A couple ways you do trout. Yummy. You want to take some trout, smoke it, yeah. let it cool, add some uh, green onion and add some cream cheese and mix that up. It is yeah. the best smoked trout dip you've ever had in your life. I do a smoked trout, uh, actually a fondue with smoked trout, which has smoked Ooh. trout. It's got a little uh, cream cheese, a little heavy cream. It's got uh, scallions in it and corn. And you take yep. tortilla chips with that smoky flavor and, you're, and you get a little of the fish and a little of the cheese. Oh my gosh, it's ridiculous, all right? So I'm gonna put some more burgers on. Remember, you're getting, a lot of, you're getting a lot of flavor from the smoke of the grill. So don't, you don't have to over season when you're putting your food in there. Let the smoke do it. If you see on here, all I did was put some, <clears throat> a little seasoning salt on the burgers. And Melissa, great job. This food is awesome. Melissa is the person that's helping us manage all this food out here, and she does a wonderful job. I'm going to put those big burgers. Oh, look at The kebabs are done. You know what? Yeah, I, want to put the, I don't really want to put the kebabs back on the thing where I had raw meat, so I'm going to grab a plate. Always beware of cross-contamination, folks, all right? All right. You got to be careful, especially if you're using poultry. Be care very careful with that. You don't want to mess around with it. All right, so uh, I'm going to take the kebabs off. They're done. And you'll see they're perfectly cooked. Remember, with shrimp, don't over shrimp get rubbery if you overcook them. And there's our two shrimp kebabs. I could take a piece of corn. This one, I'd say, is just about wow. had it. Look at that meal right there. Look at the meal you just made. That is a beautiful, simple, lightweight meal. Not a lot of carbs in here, right? So if you're on low carb and you just want to do meats and veggies, you could do that as well. I've got my burgers on. Here's for the kids. I've got hot dog, corn on the cob, mac and cheese, my salmon. Oh, oh, Lord. Beautiful. Go on in there, take a look at that salmon. All right? And remember, don't mm -hmm. overcook your salmon either. Let it get where it's just a little rare on the inside. And let it finish on the plate. Let it cool a little bit. That is a beautiful piece of salmon. I'm going to close this up. Um, Danielle, I'm going to take a walk through and show everybody what we've got as far as colors. 
I am going to towel off. Hey, I'm in front of a barbecue grill. If I sweat, I sweat. <laughs> what are you, you going to do? Look at his shirt. What are you, you going to do? I can take the shirt off, but I don't think anybody would <laughs> I'd get yelled at. This is where yeah, you Yeah, yeah, that's right. We're all black. You see me jumping you know in the... I'm always you got, in black. You got one picture of me with my shirt off. That's all you're getting. All right, so anyway, come on over. This is black. Okay in black. Brian, how many left in cinnamon? <laughs> okay. All right, we started with 200. I got four dozen left. All right, so last call on cinnamon. Blue? Started with over 200. 72 left. All right, if you want it in the gray, we're okay. All right, or the, the graphite. Now, if you want copper, we started with over 400. Ooh. There's 150 left there. So the value here is not only that we have the lowest price anywhere, it's also about, look what we're giving you. I mean, to me, that's everything. You know, we have a lot of people online, and, and even my uh, producer, Brian, has been asking me, you know, because it's not just about getting the, the, the smoker grill. It's about getting the yeah. support stuff that you need to be able to use it properly. We're gonna give you the pellets, 20 pounds of oak, and we gave you these two flavors because these are the most common flavors people use and they have a lot of flavor. They're not too strong. Uh, you know, things like mesquite and stuff like that can be very, very strong, uh, which is great if you're doing like, you know, mesquite chicken or something like that. But, you know, these are the ones that are universal. 20 pounds of hickory, a cover for your grill, as I said, the pellets, all the tools you will need to put everything together, and you're gonna get two of the probes. These are important if you're roasting a turkey or a chicken, because you can't really see what's inside the chicken. You don't wanna cut it open. Although my recommendation, yeah. if you are doing chicken, cut your chicken in half. You still get the same great bone-in flavor, and it cooks in about half the time, and you won't burn the outside. You still get it, so that, that's a little tip. We're <laughs> gonna give you a cutting board to go along with it as well. Everything, if you tried to buy it separately, what would they pay, Brian? What, $789? It's almost $800. I'd still pay $800, <laughs> don't get me wrong. <laughs> but I think it's worth it. Uh, but you're gonna get all that, you're gonna get all that great stuff. And listen to this, if you, if you don't have an HSN credit card today, we'll put $40 in your account. That'll drop the price to $549, wow. or five, yeah, $549. If you already have a card, and you bought, or you got a card today, you get 12 month VIP, which means you can own this grill today for $49 a month, 12 months, no interest. I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm pushing you there. Look at me, I'm, I'm pushing you there. Get it! <laughs> It'll make your whole cooking experience so much fun. If, you've, if you have sat there and said, oh, I've had charcoal grills that are a pain in the butt. Easy. Put the, you put the pellets in one side, you plug it in, you turn it on, and you wait for the smoke to come out. If you want it hotter, you turn it hotter. That's all you do. You clean it like your traditional grill. You know, get a, get a wire scraper, scrape it down. I mean, it's a grill. It's gonna get a little greasy, gonna get a little nasty. I'm just being transparent here. It's a grill. You know, it's not, it's not a non-stick fry pan. <laughs> it's a grill and a smoker and a baker and a roaster and a, and a slow cooker. It's all those things. But get it home, because I know you're gonna love it. Look, at this is what you're gonna love. You're inside, right? You're talking to your partner, or wife, husband, whatever you got. And all of a sudden you're like, I'm gonna go outside and see what's going out on the smoker. I love the chimney. That's, that is one of my favorite parts, because if you go to a, a real smoky, you know, if you go down south, or oh, I'm in the south, but you know, if you go to places like the Carolinas or whatever, you'll see these big old pits, and you'll see those smokestacks going. They do that for two reasons. One, to vent the smoke, and two, to let everybody know that there's good food around, and it sucks you in like a vacuum. I'm gonna open it up. I turned it up a little bit. Look at this. What? Look at that. <laughs> Everything Yummy. is right there. Hey, Melissa, will you hand me those tongs over there? I, I wanna, <laughs> I wanna t check on my salmon. Thank you, darling. All right, so here's the salmon. I would, this salmon is done. I'm gonna take this. Do I have Ooh. another plate? Melissa, I'm sorry, I keep bothering you. I need another plate. Do I have another <laughs> one? There's so much food coming out here, I'm running out of room. All right, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna flip my burgers. Oh, baby. I, I would use a spatula, but I only got tongs here, so I'm, I'm kind of mucking it up a little bit, but I'm leaving that one on. I don't want to break that one live on camera. All right, here we go. Ugh, I'm going to close it. <laughs> All right, come on over here. All right, so we have put nothing on this salmon. Where's my little fork? Um, and I, you know what I would do if you've never had barbecued salmon? Oh, salmon loves sweet. So whether you do a peach chutney or whether you do some kind of a marmalade, heck, you could put apricot, apricot jam on there. It's going to be good. But I want you to see what's the best shot, Josh, right there. Oh, Josh, not Ooh, there. Oh, look Watch at that. It. Ready? 
Look at that. Can you see so that glisten? Pretty. I want you to see if you can see that glistening in the sunlight. Look at it. Look at that. All right, I'll just mash it a little bit, show you. Look at that flaky, delicious, beautiful salmon. It is perfectly cooked, and I like it like that. I like it a little bit undercooked in the middle. I'm gonna take a bite off this end. I want you to look. I don't know if you can see that in my hand. Look at this. <laughs> and then I want you to see, because wow. salmon is fatty, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna show you how it flakes. Oh, wow. Get a little barbecue sauce on there. Hey, it's, it's lunchtime, man. You ready? <laughs> I mean, and, we, and Melissa, we didn't we didn't season it, right? We didn't put nothing on there. Man, I am eating like a king. And you know, here's the thing. Whatever you put on there is gonna taste good. You can't say that about your oven, you can't say that about a fry pan, but whatever you put in there, I'm gonna turn it down. Now see, it's getting to the point where it's smoking like a, it's smoking like a beast right now. I'm gonna turn it down. Here's how I turn it down. Watch, 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 ready? Boop, boop. So easy. Boop, I'm lowering it, boop. That's all I do, I'm gonna put it down to 300. It'll gradually slow down the cooking. I'm gonna open it up again so you can see my burgers. Look at that. Mm, yep. All right, I got about 10 minutes left. So you know what time that is? That means it's time to make my decision. Am I gonna enjoy the delicious smokiness, that rich flavor, that, that ease of preparation? Having a go-to oven outside is so great. You know, my brother, who has a, a grill smoker, and me, we will, we will dig a trench in the snow to get to our barbecue, all right? <laughs> I will get out there and I will dig to get there so that I can do it year round. When you got something that cooks food this good, you're gonna love it. Um, I'm gonna hand it back to you, Danielle. I'm sure you got more pretty stuff to show. Get it on $49 <laughs> on an HSN credit card and we're gonna ship it to your house for free. And remember, you buy these in the store, you gotta get them in your car. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna drop it off at your front door. Go ahead, Danielle, show me some more pretty so stuff. So easy, so easy. You fill the hopper 100% all natural hardwood pellets. You set the temperature either low and slow or hot and fast or anything in between. It's that versatile with the Traeger grills. And then the Traeger does all the work. So talk about ease of convenience. All we have to do is plug it in, fill up the pellets, and the grill does all the work delivering just the right amount of that all natural wood pellet. That's gonna give you all that delicious wood-fired taste because it all comes down to taste. This is what separates Traeger, that ease of use, that consistent, repeatable results. You load up your meats or all your foods, and then, of course, all the grease goes off into the side bucket. So I think a Traeger is also one of the easiest grills to clean as well. Because of that, that just goes in the recycling bin. Now I gotta show you one more thing, one more big thing. This is the Mac Daddy of all meats. Because you were talking about going down south, and you know that we were talking about the smokestack and everybody knows about brisket. So take a look at this brisket. I went to bed last night and I put this brisket on, oh, I'm gonna say about midnight somewhere in there. And that's all I had to do because you know what? The Traeger did all the work for me. Take a look at that delicious smoke ring all the way through from one edge to the other. So that's that gorgeous bark, that's the taste. This is Texas-style roadhouse. This is your smokehouse in your backyard. And, you know, one of the great things is, is that this didn't take somebody to be a pit master to do. It took a Traeger. So if you want results like this, you got to get a Traeger. And the best part is, the recipe for this is all on TraegerGrills.com. Because one of the good things is, is a community of Traeger enthusiasts and the thousands of recipes we have available online. Let everybody be a backyard rock star. And that Hickory Kiss Taste Day... It brings the smoke home, and it. it was so easy. You know, it's funny when you, when you do barbecue shows like like Danielle and me. You can't stop eating the whole time. It's like normally we're we're allowed to sample the food. We will shovel it in <laughs> as quickly as we can get it in. And if you love another nice thing about about you know when you're doing your burgers out on the grill, look at how juicy that. Look at that juice. Look at this. Watch. Yep. Look at the juice on that burger. Ready? Mm. Look at look 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 look. What? Come on. Flip it over. Wow. Let's, hey, what do you like on your burger? Yeah, I'll put some cheese on there. And when you've got a lid like this, easy opening lid, you can get, uh, you can get your cheese melted really uh, quick. You can do a variety of things on there. I always tell people, if you're gonna buy one of these, uh, if you can go, uh, we may carry them on HSM, but get yourself a little cast iron pan, like a flat pan. Because if you're doing things like seafood, it's a little bit easier to do it on a cast iron pan. You still get the smoke, but you get the sear. When you're doing it on a loose grill, sometimes, you know, especially with asparagus and stuff like that, 
Just put a, put a little cast iron flat grill in there. And now you've got a, you yep. could cook pancakes, you could cook sausage, bacon, you could do all that stuff. You can blacken food in there. You will absolutely mm. love it. I want to keep an eye on this cheese. I don't want to melt it. Yeah, it's going to oh. be quick. I'm going to grab another plate. And I'm going to put those oh, burgers. So oh, there it is. Thank you, Melissa. She's so, so awesome. And I'm going to put this out. Yes. And let's say you're on a low carb diet. I got you covered. It's no worries. I got you covered. Watch this. Low carb, low carb people. Here you go. Trust me, it was on keto for five months. They don't let you go near bread. So you got to have stuff. <laughs> Look at that. All right. So here, here's your keto meal. I'm going to, I'm going to do a nice <laughs> keto meal for you. Yeah. Put some corn on there. Nice piece of corn. How about, hey, you like onion? That's an onion. That is onion right there. Oh, wow. Uh, let's put a little roasted pepper on there. A little oh, yellow, yeah. little yellow pepper. Oh, look at that. Now, there you go. Carb-free dinner, carb-free food, and not skimping out on flavor. You know, I've gone, oh, yeah. I've, I've tried the, you know, like I said, I went on that, on that keto thing, and, and you gotta really be creative to come up with flavor, because you gotta watch out for sugar, and you gotta watch out for carbs. If you put something on a grill, you forget about all that because the smoky flavor tastes fattening, but it's not, right? It's, it's the best thing about smoke. When you think about it, it lends so much flavor. Normally, when you think about flavor, you have to add something. You have to add salt. You have to add sugar. You have to add butter. You have to add oil. Smoke is calorie-free flavor. There you go. I coined that. Smoke is calorie-free flavor. I mean, am I not right, Danielle? I mean, think about it. You always have to add something that yeah. is usually fat, like a cheese or whatever. You could eat your meat just smoked with salt and pepper and you will feel satisfied. And that's the bottom yeah. line. Absolutely. I'm gonna do one more uh, thing on the colors and I'll show you what you get. And then I'm gonna let Danielle do her last little bit. I'm okay in black. Cinnamon, I am now down to 40. If you want it in blue, about 60. If you want it in graphite, we're good in graphite. If you want in copper, last call, how many? Started with 400, we're down to about 100. I'm gonna try to sneak through here if I can. All right, everybody is gonna get all the supplies that you need to use it. All you need is to supply a plug, not even a plug, an outlet. We give you the plug, all right? Plug it in, that starts the uh, pellets moving and smoking. It has a, there's an element inside that'll heat up the pellets and you control the temperature up to 450 degrees. We're gonna give you the pellets, we'll give you 20 pounds of oak, we'll give you 20 pounds of hickory, that's a lot, all right? You probably won't use this amount. I mean, if you're barbecuing once a week or twice a week, that's gonna last you the rest of the year, easy. You get a Traeger grill cover, you get all the little tools that you need to put it together, doesn't take long. You'll, you'll, you'll get all the instructions when you get there. <clears throat> it's actually quite enjoyable because you're gonna be anticipating using it. <laughs> and you're gonna be like, I gotta get this thing put together. You're gonna get a Traeger cutting board. That's a nice feature as well. Uh, that's the one I'm using up there. All you need is to add your own enthusiasm, your own fresh ingredients, whether they're meat, fish, poultry, whatever it is, veggies, uh, you know, pasta, if you wanna bake mac and cheese, use your imagination. <laughs> but know that you're not gonna make a mistake. You're gonna get good at it very quickly. If you think, well, I'm no good at barbecuing. I, I suck at that, I'll never be good. You just have to have the right tools. And that's what this is. This is the right tool for the job, all right? And you can see, I don't even have much food in there anymore. And I'm still getting smoke. <laughs> if I had no food on here and I was using a propane grill, no smoke. Because all it does is burn the fat on the food. We are creating smoke. And that's what it's all about. Danielle, we got about five, well, about three minutes left. I'm gonna give it back to you. Show me some more pretty stuff. All right, you know it's all about balance in my world. So a good balanced diet is a Traeger smoked cheeseburger. Take a look at this and take a look what's on our grill. We've got all those delicious cheeseburgers that are still on there, that bacon that is grilling off on that top. But this, remember, this is the beautiful succulent tomahawk. Now look at this. This has now been sitting here for 35, 40 minutes, and it is still juicy as heck all the way through. And take a look at that beautiful seared color on the outside. It has got all that delicious flavor, and all we had to do was put it on the grill. Once again, the grill's versatility, that taste is coming through on our trout, on our breakfast patties, on our rotisserie style chicken. And how about a good old fashioned hot dog? You were talking about the hot dogs earlier. Look at how juicy that so hot dog is. It's succulent and delicious and moist. And who doesn't love hot dogs? 
going to the low and slow with all the delicious low and slow cooked meats. You don't have to be a rock star. You can literally learn how to do all of these things super easy from the Traeger website, TraegerGrills.com, and we have thousands of recipes. And then we, of course, have the versatility of going into, we're talking about jerky, how about the holidays? I know it's still the summer, but we've got a perfectly cooked prime rib here. It's deliciously moist and gorgeous. Gorgeous crust on the outside right there, as you can see. Look at how pretty that is. And I've got a glorious apple stuffed turkey in the back with rosemary potatoes. I've got my bacon mac and cheese. And of course, who doesn't love these little peppers? I love these little peppers so much. And that just makes it so versatile and coming through to all the baked goods again. I mean, this is one of the greatest things is that we start off low and slow. We can go hot and fast. We've got pies, we've got cookies, we've got pizzas, we've got burgers, I've got trout, I've got chicken, I've got everything on the grill. Because oh, my gosh. <laughs> All about the taste, right? All about the taste. Oh, fun. All right, I, hey, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to give everybody a quick lesson. You ready? And I'm just doing this because I learned from trial and error. If you do want to cut your ribs, don't cut them this side up because it's hard to see the bones. <laughs> Flip it over. It look. Yeah. Look, look. Bones. I can see exactly where to cut. And that's how you, that's how you really know how to cut ribs uh, when you're doing it. So I'm going to cut right through. I'll cut through this one right here. And I'll show you. Oh, my gosh. Look, yeah, that's Crazy. actually. Look at this. Look at this pretty color of that, of that meat right there. I don't know if you can see that color. That is what you're looking for right there. See that smoke ring along the outside? You have that mahogany color right here. Look at the mahogany color on the ribs. You can see on the meat, this is actually a better way to see. See how red that is right there? That's that smoky goodness. I'll pull that little piece away. Oh, and you can wow. see, look at how juicy and tender that rib meat is. That, that is just gonna bite right off with your teeth. You are gonna love it. Oh. We are down to one minute. <clears throat> so really quickly, how do I get it home today, guy? <laughs> Lowest price anywhere, we have it here. You can pay for the whole thing at once. Bam, write a check, do what you gotta do, put it on your credit card, all right? You can do that. You can split it up into five payments of 118, or you can get an HSN credit card today, get $40 put in your account. If you already own one, use it to finance over 12 months without any interest, no hidden fees, no charges. It's $49 and like 17 cents per month, and you own a Traeger and you'll be the envy of all your friends and your neighbors when they smell that smoke trickling through the neighborhood and they're going to be like the joneses are cooking i can smell it from the air so uh you may want to direct the wind in another direction if you don't want the joneses banging on your door but you will love it danielle you are amazing thank you beautiful demonstration appreciate you always all right, darling. Mm. All right, and thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in a couple of days. I've got a crafting Christmas in the morning. Right now, the amazing, one-of-a-kind, Colleen Lopez coming your way.